everyone. Wish. Okay, 10,000 years into the future in 10 minutes. Let's begin. It's more than 10 minutes, 13 minutes. Let's see if we can get through it. <sighs> Immediately, right? Given you right here. Promise, false promise, okay? Sure that many of you know something about our planet's past. Dinosaurs, huge meteorites, ancient architectural monuments. Information about these things is available to everyone. But have you ever wondered what will happen to our planet in the future? Many modern scientists have been concerned about this issue for several decades. Fortunately, their knowledge helps us make predictions not only for the next few years, but also for the coming decade. Right, and there's just footage of just smash movies, you know. They don't in today's anything. video, we're going on a trip to the future, and we're going to see what changes will take place in our planet in the next 10,000 years. Let's get it on. Of course, we're going to start in the near future. You probably want to know what you can see with your own eyes, right? Okay. Well, in 2019, new countries will appear on the world map. Bougainville Island, located in the Pacific Ocean, is officially an autonomous region of Papua New Guinea. Solomon. Okay, Solomon. Right here, they're telling you, look. Okay. What is that? That's a number. You can figure it out. However, in 2019, it can gain independence if a large part of its population votes for it at a specially convened meeting. And Nueva Caledonia, which is now part of France, can also become a separate country. 2020. Okay. In 2020, the construction of the tallest building on the planet will be completed. You all probably know that today's tallest building is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. However, this record can be exceeded by 2020. In Saudi Right, not impressive, not impressive at all, no. The Arabia, they plan to complete the construction of the Jeddah Tower that'll be the first one to reach the one kilometer high mark. That same year, the private company Bigelow Aerospace, dedicated to space tourism, will launch into orbit a ship that could become a hotel for Earthlings. Yeah, the testing no. of these ships was six. Okay, Tesla, dude, that guy, or whatever, Elon Musk has has been promising that since i don't know early 2000s i don't know it's a big fraud look at this guy he, he's just staring into the abyss okay he has no clue leading the blind okay this <sighs> successful and one of them was used by cosmonauts at the iss as a storage facility okay there's nobody in space okay look look at this okay what is this? They're gonna send a, sp a spaceship that could eventually turn into the hotel. What? Twenty twenty four. Wow, guys, look. In twenty twenty four, SpaceX is sending a rocket of the same name to Mars with different loads, and a couple of decades later, the first settlers on the red planet. Yes, pirates, because that's what they are planet would arrive. Can you imagine? If you think that the idea of moving people to another planet is delusional, then you should know that this is completely plausible. UN experts predict that by- Look at all these people looking at, you know, screens, okay? Just smashing into, th into nothing, okay? This is what the behind of a brain of that is staring into the abyss looks like, okay? And this guy, Thinks he has a nice haircut, but Adco paid for it, and it's not, you should get your money back, and this person should, you know, get a new wig. What is this? What is this? What is this? Is that Mars? Guys, I don't know. I can't tell. It looks like, it looks like the chocolate cake after I accidentally you know, dropped a candle on it and lifted it up. Okay, I don't know. By 2025, the world's population will grow to 8 billion people. And by 2050, it'll be 10 billion. Really? You're gonna, okay, you're gonna scare us with population. Okay. Okay, give your best shot. Billion. Oh, wait, that was it. Amazing. In 2026, the construction of the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, which began in 18... Yeah, it's a disgrace. Um, 
I, I, not to boast or brag, but I mean, I've been there up close and personal, and you know, just watching people, watching people walk in to get smashed. You know, they they stand in lines to go inside, and the outside, mm, it just looks like a bunch of sandstone, right? That you know, some engineer got paid way too much money, and probably blew it all away. And that's why it's taken so long to um, finish it because, well, that's how long it takes, guys. Look, this is how long it takes. All right, it takes a long time to make a half-ass job because no, they cannot create the magnificence of, you know, the other cathedrals. No. And they call this modern, and they call this progress, and inspired by all sorts of different architecture. <sighs> Guys, you, this, I mean, uh, you can't take your money back anymore, but I could probably at least draw you a better design, okay? 83 will be completed. The biggest problem with the construction is the need to design special stone blocks, which takes a lot of time. Therefore, in the near future, it'll be really possible. Really? A lot of time? Guys, you're stonemasons. Come on. <sighs> Get to work. You know, you're too fat now. You're too fat. You got too fat and too lazy. You're just, you know, you're, you're, you're out there too busy defiling the world and you, you forgot, right? You forgot to finally visit this place and have a good look from the inside. No matter how sad it may seem, in 2028, Venice will be uninhabited. This doesn't mean that the city will be completely oh, underwater, look. but there is reason to believe that living there will be impossible Guys, due to a significant increase water in water levels. Amazing. Guys, whoever wants to be in the movie Waterworld, wait till the year 2028 and that's Oh, guys, you will you will live your pirate utopia, okay? Go there. Go there. Do it. Forget 2029. That's too late. You know, go there to, so you can catch it on the cusp, right? Because it's not going to be completely submerged. You'll still have some of the island, you know, some, some of it still accessible by boat, maybe just docking. Who knows, this guy is full of it, I don't know. <laughs> and this is a horror story for those who've always been afraid of strange objects falling from the sky. By 2029, the Apophis asteroid will approach Apophis. Earth at 20... <sighs> Apophis, okay. What, how more ridiculous can you get? This is the name of, you know, of course, another false idol. And this number means something, but... I could care less to decipher it because, look, it's not real. 3,859 miles, which can lead to the collision of this large stone with our planet. Exactly. Look, this guy believes it, and that's why his face came apart, okay? But we hope we won't share the same fate as dinosaurs, and this hot bundle will fly by. Great, great. Twenty thirty three made it, guys. As we said, the most likely planet Look, for life. There is a a, th a thing being pulled by a wire. Wow, and this guy's holding, what? Nothing. Is Mars in twenty thirty three? Not only a cargo will be sent to this planet, but also a true manned mission called. Look, guys, it's it's some guy. It's some guy in a suit, and he's connected to a tether. And look at all these. Oh, what is that dust? Amazing. And it's probably dust or, or water. I don't know. But this guy, look, he's just having a good time. And <laughs> he could care less. And there's probably somebody going to peek through there. Who knows? Aurora. Researchers want to make sure that the planet is movie. suitable for many of people. Course. As you've probably already understood, the future is closely related to the study of outer space. Right, you've brainwashed me to believe it now. Okay, I believe it. I've understood. Oh, thank you. I would not if it wasn't for this. For four minutes into this and now I understand. I understand so much. Look, 
All I have to do is stare hard enough at the abyss, and I'll, oh, and it will, and it will answer back. Oh my goodness! Look, <sighs> such lies, and people are filthily eating it, and you know, thinking that it's delicious because, look, if you can believe it and, you know, lavish yourself in frivolous comfort, of course, that's all you want. You want to be pampered and told that you're special and that you that you're loved and accepted. For you you are accepted by the world and by the abyss. <sighs> because loyalty and surrender and complete humbleness to the living God is the true the way, the life, right? But no, look and deep into this abyss. Probes will be sent there in 2036 to study the oh. star system of Alpha Centauri. Guys, no, you exactly stare st straight into the abyss, and this guy will come and save you. The Breakthrough Starshot project is sending an entire fleet of spaceships to the nearest star. The spaceship will be fitted with solar sails. Prior to Alpha Centauri, the probes will fly for 20 years, but. Okay, th this is 2036. Uh, it's 2018, so in 18 more years. This is all the pr the program, right? No. <sighs> this is all cartoons, right? This is all a tester. This is a pilot, right? Nobody is actually planning to build this. This is all feelers. And, and to see what works, to see what you respond to, and to see what you will believe, okay? Because, look. <sighs> this is supposed to save us, guys. Look. Look. This this is going to guide us to the future. Look, guys, look, you're not paying attention. Another five will be needed to send a message back to Earth about the successful arrival. Wow, we made it to 2040. All right, let's, let's check it out. By 2040, an experimental thermonuclear reactor will begin to work. The construction started in 2007 in southern France, 40 miles from Marseille. If someone... Okay, I mean, this is all, I mean, people could say, oh, where did this guy get this information? And it's like, oh, well, it's based on current work, you know, you know, um, business plans that are set, you know, short term, long term, so you can make predictions. Or maybe this guy is just creating a story, right? Creating, massaging a narrative of plausibility, right? Who knows? But what is true is w what he's saying, the words that he's saying. Look at him, listen to him, look and listen to this guy. List whatever you do, pay attention to this guy because that guy knows what's up. Look, he's looking directly to the sphere. He knows what to worship. He does what he's told. One doesn't know this is necessary to get a lot of energy. The advantage of this reactor is its safety because even in the event of an accident, the amount of emissions will be so small that there won't be a need for an evacuation. <laughs> Look at this guy. I mean, all right. Oh. 2048 today antarctica is an almost completely unexplored and protected object but by 2048 the ban on mineral extraction in this area won't exist anymore under the ant okay is this a viking it looks like a viking okay i don't know but it looks like a guy with a cape and like superhero gloves right is this an ice core i don't know maybe maybe this is you know an ancient technology Maybe it's ancient alien guys. <sighs> Antarctic treaty system, no country can own this territory, and the continent itself is a non-nuclear zone. Mining Right. So 2050 guys, look, aim for 20 uh, No, 20 what what is it? 2049? I don't know. But this guy is basically telling you, listen, there's a treaty and you can't go there, but hey, it's about to expire. So, you have a lot to look forward to. Prohibited. But, scientists but no, don't ask why there's a treaty to not explore it. No, don't ask that. No. Just wait for 2050, right? And um, enjoy your suffering. And wait for the next, you know, illuminating video. Expect this agreement to be revised exactly in 2048.
We don't quite understand how this was calculated, but scientists are confident that by 2050, the colonization of Mars will begin. By right. This time because, yeah, 2048, all of a sudden people, no, people are not even going to care about Antarctica then because they're all, the people that care might already be dead. Okay. And um, those who don't care, we're, we'll, we'll just be told that it's, oh, we're going to harvest it, but it'll be harvest for to fuel the space industry, the space fleet. Lies again. Just smashed. Just like this guy. He realized that he pressed the wrong button, probably. And now... He has to be saved. Time, people will be able to fly to the red planet within the framework of the Mars One project. But before that, scientists will have to solve. Okay, it's a movie, but yeah, look at it. Twenty one. Yes, it's terminal. This person has a terminal condition. It's called the death stare. <laughs> He has no clue. This guy has no clue. Look at him. He has no clue. Zero clue. <sighs> He's in total influence of the worship of death and doing as he wants. Using climate change as a pedestal for him to smash more. Okay, look at him many interplanetary travel problems. There is information that a special interplanetary elevator or something like that is planned to be built, but there's no official... Right, showing you guys, showing you, you know, witches and sorcerers and warlocks, yes, and subjecting the innocents to it. And you have this creepy old man selling the child away to this, you know, flesh defiler. Special confirmation of such a novelty. Well, we told you about the closest changes on the planet. You ready to go further? Well, then, scientists don't have any good news about the year 20. Wow, look at that, guys. Look, look, it's the abyss. Just stare into it long enough, and you'll know your purpose. 100, because the weather would be ruined and chaos would rule over the world. The average daily temperatures on the planet will begin to rise, while diseases and the likelihood of war will increase. If you don't believe us, just. Right, just fear. Just more fear. Just look at this poor child, right? Its head has enlarged because it's so hungry, okay? You might think I'm being insensitive, but no, it's true. The ego on this child to think. To even think it's hungry, right? No, it's absurd, right? And no, it's not because, you know, as a humanity, we're wrong. No, it can't be that. It's just, oh, it's just a distribution of wealth. No, you're right. It couldn't be that you, we are totally immoral people, right? We have totally sold ourselves to the will of destruction and theft. You're stealing from this child to provide for your child that will just ignore his food. All because they're just, you know, mimicking the hypocrisy of their parents. They, they see no authority in them. They don't respect them. Why should they eat what they have to provide? Even if it's the most healthy. Your child will reject it because it rejects you. This, this starving child embraces its mother fully because it knows what love is. Just take a look at the situation in today's world. Some regions of America are increasingly feeling the lack of water and suffering from droughts, while other regions suffer from terrible floods due to heavy rain each year. And there are more and more cases of forest fires due to the abnormal heat. And this global cataclysm has one reason. Overall, according to NASA experts, it's because of the carbon- Oh, again, according to NASA experts, experts like this guy. Look, look, he's an expert, guys. So is this guy. Because, oh, he's a genius, oh. ...dioxide, which we emit in large quantities into the atmosphere. By early 2015, its concentration set a record and exceeded 400 particles per million by 20... 
Wow, nobody knows what this means. Look, you're just showing four and a nine with two zeros, right? I mean, if you really wanted to talk about parts per million in what's in the air, you don't want to talk about that. Because then you would have to explain and affirm that you are being sprayed and you are being brainwashed, okay? And uh, you can you can show as many numbers as you want on the screen, right? But you're you're just cherry picking. You're picking to present the information that will glorify and perpetuate a certain mind frame. One hundred, it'll grow to nine hundred. As a result of these adverse changes, the average daily summer temperature in cities such as Jerusalem, New York, and Los Angeles will be forty-five degrees Celsius, and in London and Paris, over thirty degrees Celsius. It's hard to believe, but according to NASA estimates, there's almost a one hundred percent chance that the Himalayan glaciers in the Everest region will melt. Oh no, the year three thousand. Wow. Well, you know, after the world melted, okay, now you made it to the year 3000. Good for you. Now you're definitely in water world, right? Let's take a look. But as long as these events don't lead humankind to its end, Nevertheless, by the year 3000, the temperature can rise by 15 degrees Celsius worldwide, and the sea level will rise by more than 36 feet, flooding most of London. As a result of these sudden changes, the UK may become warmer or colder, but it'll turn into a warm region. If yeah, they're telling you the truth here. I mean, this movie was a f comedy flick, but look, it's the same story hashed over. And they tried, they blasphemously use, you know, the symbol of the childlike figure of the savior, of the messiah. But no, <sighs> somehow he's the savior. Somehow he's the savior, right? Yes, him. Eventually, this can happen if the current North Atlantic system is altered and Britain loses the warm Gulf Stream. Ocean surface temperature will drop by three. Okay, all this script, right? The script is amazing. This is okay. Who, who smoked the peyote and then came up with this? Because <sighs> might have been a shot in the dark. Three degrees, but if the Arctic ice melts, it'll increase again by eight degrees in a short period of time. If we continue to burn fossil fuels, then the sea level and Here the temperature the will keep growing, which can lead to the flooding of large areas of Bangladesh. Florida and many other places that are too low above sea level. No, it can't possibly be that all these people, right, in this, you know, living in decadence and all this. No, it can't be that, oh, perhaps, you know, there are influences where you can manipulate the weather, but overall, you can amass, you can mask natural occurrences with the illusion that, oh, there are people controlling it. And then you pacify it. You think nothing of it. You just say, oh, well, as long as I put my money where I think it should be invested, I, I'm going to be smart about it and invest into progressive ideas. No, you're just smashed. You're smashed and you're perpetuating the lie. Okay. And this right here is an example of where you're going to get smashed. Okay. As a result, hundreds of millions of people will lose their homes. At the same time, the acidity of the oceans will decrease significantly, creating a threat to the existence of marine organisms such as coral and plankton. This, in turn, can affect the entire marine ecosystem. Such unpleasant information is an excellent food for meditation, isn't it? But it's not too late to avoid... No, it, it's not to meditate on. This guy obviously meditated on it and he went nuts and probably is about to blow his brains out, okay? This guy obviously has been scribbling on the wall for ages, okay? Maybe one night, maybe his girlfriend dumped him and he went crazy, right? Look at him. He's he's smashed, okay? And he's, he's thinking about climate change and how he could have made a difference. Malarkey. Avoid a global catastrophe because everything is in our hands. Well, now is the time to talk about the distant future. That is, about the years... F yes, guys, let's go full-blown, you know... <sighs> full-blown fantasy. Okay, let's, let's, again, stare into the abyss, guys. 4,000 and 5,000. 
Due to population growth, consumption of goods produced on the planet will also increase. Even if scientists succeed in transferring some people to other planets, then it will be difficult to rebuild factories and plants here. Therefore, to feed a colossal population of several... Oh, right, assuming you're going to be colossal. Where's this colossal population going to come from when all this devastation supposedly happened, okay? Dozen no. billion people. There will be thousands of farms operating in the oceans that will produce food at an incredible scale. In these no, okay. <sighs> if these things aren't had aren't built already, what makes you think that you'll be able to feast like this guy's stuff in his face? Yeah, no. Ocean farms, not only fish but also algae will be grown, which will then be used as food and fuel. Science and technology will go one step further, so it's almost a hundred percent. This is the year 5,000, okay, 4,000, 5,000. And this guy's talking about using plankton as food, please. We're, not, we're doing that now, and it is, okay. It's likely that telepathy will become one of the usual ways to increase brain functionality. Perceiving thoughts and transferring them to a distance will become a familiar habit, like reading, for example. And it may sound fantastic now, but it's real, even now. If by thought transmission, we mean the transmission of electrical signals from- So it's real now, guys, but no, it can't be full-fledged reality because, no, it, you need another 2,000 years. <sighs> According to these wavelengths, that's what I'm reading, guys. I don't know if you're reading the same. The brain. Thanks to the achievements of genetics, scientists will be able to create people with the highest level of intelligence. Okay, that reminds me of Gamatica, guys. I um, mean- Movies, okay, predictive programming, just like this person was made to memorize this in order to pass a test, okay? She needed to memorize, I don't know, you know, this is part of this, who cares? This person, I don't know, this is, look, look at all these papers and uh, just pages. And look, the code, right? This is what it is. It's just a bunch of code that you've been pumped and dumped with and left alone to figure it all out. No. You're just, you're an empty vessel, you're a shell, okay? And you refuse to see the the truth and the way and the life. And you are totally embracing the realm of the light. And you love it. And immortality. The just like that guy. Okay? Direct connection of the brain to the computer, person, which will become an integral part of the lives of the people in the future, will give them an opportunity for the eternal... Yes, look, this is the future, guys. Okay, believe it. Look, the hand... There's a hand floating in the middle, the middle of nowhere, okay? That's the future, guys. The life of the body. This means that the modern problems of impaired hearing, vision, and memory, the problems with other important body functions and aging of the skin would simply disappear. Yeah, that's the future, guys. You won't have wrinkles. Oh, amazing. In addition to all this, the body's ability to tolerate various- Yeah, look, things will go into your skin. And defile you. These diseases will increase significantly. Nanobots, which already exist in theory, will flow through. Yeah, nanobots. They showed blood cells. Yeah, that's the original technology. Okay, that is the only technology. All right. Anything else is a lie. This is an a computer-generated image. Okay. <sighs> the spiral of the abyss. St look, guys, stare stare into it and. You'll find your purpose. Through our circulatory system, repairing cells. By the year 5000 or so, the language and currency borders will also be erased. Due to the large number of people that will inhabit the planet, humans will be in much closer... Yeah, you're going to be eating yourself. Eating the flesh, eating more flesh. ...contact with each other than they are now. Therefore, there'll be just a bunch of major languages that can be counted on one hand. Along with this, as you've figured out, there will be a single currency or an entirely electronic right. money. There will be a multi-pass where this chick is the VIP, okay? This androgynous person and this Ken doll, right? What is this? Who is this, right? What is this guy, right? The muzzle, right? The Fred Flintstone muzzle. What is this? And... <sighs> that can be used anywhere in the world. Time passes, folks. And the years 7,000 and 8,000 are already here.
Wow, guys, it's so fast. Whatever happens inside of the Earth and on the surface of our planet, some phenomena will remain unchanged. The Earth will continue to revolve around the Sun. The Moon will continue to orbit the Earth. However, astronomical cycles will change slowly but significantly. The yeah, yeah, guys, look. <sighs> and then ET will fly over the Moon, okay? Gravitational opposition between the Earth and the Moon will persist, but our satellite will move away several. And then uh, Wally is going to take a picture, right, of the Earth. Wow, look, guys, it's Wally. Okay, he's been found. He was lost, but now he's found. Inches each year, decreasing in the sky until it finally becomes so small that it can no longer cause a total solar eclipse. And as we said before, people will have artificial intelligence, but that's not all. The problem of limb loss or injury will no longer bother the population, as incredibly realistic prostheses will be created. Let's prostheses are cloning. I mean, no. Look, this just means manipulation. Okay, look, they're telling you. Say moreover, anyone can replace any boring part of the body with a boring new parts, detail guys. if he or she. Remember, they're boring parts. She wants it. In addition to artificial limbs. Art oh yeah, look, that guy was jacked, and look. It's all about the code, guys. Look, look at the numbers. Look at the numbers, guys. Look, clearly it's about it. Artificial languages will also be created, and there'll be artificial builders and garbage collectors. Wow, there'll be vacuum robots. Amazing. Um, they'll probably do just as weak of a job as they do now. Okay, Ugh, useless. And climate controllers and nanobots will carry out all of these tasks. Just imagine, you don't need to do anything with your own hands. You just need to click a button or run some pro Yeah, you don't have to do anything, just be a blob. ...program, and lots of high-end mini-robots will perform any task. And finally, it's time to think of the future in 10,000 or 12,000 years. Wow, we're at the year 20,000. Of course, 000. none of us can say with confidence what exactly <sighs> would happen in such a long period of time. Oh, really? Now you say that? Okay. However... The stubborn, futuristic scientists share their assumptions. Since we can't disprove their words, we have to believe in them. Therefore, at this point in time, the population of the planet may well become an immortal robotic army, living in an environmentally clean world which nanobots care about. Diseases will disappear. There'll be no wars. Guest visits will become trips in interplanetary elevators. But these are just assumptions. There's right. only one way to verify. Okay, let's end it there. Oh, perfect. Look, this guy. Live until this guy knows he's smashed. And he's smashing the soul out of him. Okay, let's end it there. Guys, 10,000 years into the future. Wow. What a waste. Oh, I hope this uh, has been um, illustrative.